Hi, I'm Dave Butcher and I was just going to show you how to uh, load a, a Patterson plastic reel with 120 roll film. And uh, I just thought I'd start by showing you what uh, a roll film looks like in white light. This is one that's uh, very, very old, but I can just use it to demonstrate. Um, it's a, this is 120, not 220, so this is 120 uh, roll film and it's, it's a wrapper that's black on one side, it's got a series of numbers on the other. Uh, they're not as uh, black as this now on a current uh, series Ilford film. And it's got a piece of film glued to the backing with a piece of uh, masking tape and it goes right the way through numbers right the way along these are for cameras with the little red window in the back of the camera and uh, you've just got a, a loose end at the other end and then it goes onto the spool and you've got uh, a black end that uh, uh, tells you that it's uh, exposed and it's got a piece of uh, sealing strip that you have to lick and stick uh, to stop the film springing open again and on that I can write information about the, um, the series of shots on a roll. I get 10 shots on a roll 6 by 7 centimetres with my Mimir 7 camera. So that's the structure of a, a, a medium format 120 roll film. Uh, I want to uh, load one of those on, onto a plastic reel, Patterson reel. And here's a, another duff reel of uh, film that uh, I've wound right the way through so that it's now looking like an exposed roll of film. And it's sealed with this piece of tape. I've got a dull knife blade because all of this is done in the dark, of course. Otherwise, you're going to fog your film. So I don't want to. Uh, razor sharp hobby knives uh, uh, lying around in the dark so I've got this blunt knife blade which is enough to um, cut through this uh, paper thin paper like that and then you open it out until you feel the the film and feel the film there then you get hold of the end of the film you get your reel the reel has uh, some wider bits uh, on either side and you have to feel um, in the dark and pull uh, your film through those and over the ball bearings. There's little ball bearings which are used for transport. And then so you put all your film over the ball bearings like that and then in the dark you wind these onto the spool until it won't wind anymore and then you get your scissors cut through that wind it so that the end of the film is completely on the spiral and that's how you load a Patterson reel now from here there's the exposed piece of uh, paper that I've written all the details on so when when I've loaded the film I tear that off and keep it until I've written all the details that are on that onto the negative sheet, the sheet that's got the final negatives. Um, so that will have uh, the, the places that I photographed, the date, the lens, the filter, uh, the aperture and the shutter speed all written on there. And uh, in this tank that I uh, uh, loaded a few minutes ago, a couple of minutes ago. I've got five reels and uh, there's four rolls of FP4, one roll of SFX. So I process SFX, this is Ilford SFX infrared film. I process it identically to F FP4. Uh, FP4 is my normal film that I use all the time. Very uh, robust, forgiving film. And uh, um, I keep these until I've written the de details from here, transferred them onto the individual filing pages for each film, processed film, and then I throw these away. Okay, 
So that's all of our films loaded in the tank. Now we've got to process it.